Hi guys, so this is gonna be the start of a new video series where we're gonna be hardness testing production knives. I'm gonna be testing all of the knives that I currently own, uh, maybe even some that I've made myself, some that you've seen me make here on the YouTube channel. Um, we're gonna be doing one knife per video to help make it easy to find in the future. These are gonna be short to the point videos. I have a hardness tester, gonna be calibrated before each test. All of these knives are gonna be tested multiple times just to confirm the results. If you have in mind knives that you would like me to test, leave them in the comments below. If we get a whole bunch of requests for one particular knife, I'll buy that knife and I'll test it. The first knife that we're gonna be testing is the, well, or it's my personal Spyderco Tenacious that I've had for over 15 years at this point, I believe. I also wanna mention that just because my knife tests at a certain uh, hardness level doesn't mean your knife is gonna test at that same hardness level. But what this will do is it will give us uh, hopefully a whole bunch of data points in the future and we'll be able to maybe see some trend lines. We'll, uh, we'll see, it just depends on how many knives we, uh, we get to testing. <laughs> So in order for us to get an accurate test, we need a flat surface or as flat a surface as possible. So I'm gonna disassemble the knife and test the knife up towards the hinge point. So it looks like we are just, I mean, we are like right at 60. So all of these tests are done on a flat portion of the blade. I've also tested right up here by the spine. This is technically a curved surface because this is a full flat grind. Um, but I also saw about 60, somewhere about 60 and a half up here. So it's fairly consistent throughout. We'll just do one more test up here on the spine of the knife just to confirm what I just told you. So yes, you are supposed to test on a flat surface. However, on these full flat grind blades, I did not find any major discrepancies testing up towards the spine of the knife. We're talking about less than half of a point. And here's a shot of testing the spine of the knife and the hardness right at 60. So you know I'm not faking it. I could still fake it, but you get the idea. From what I understand, if you're measuring on a slight curved surface, which is what this is, it would be like an extremely slight curved surface. You're supposed to add a couple of tenths or whatever. There's actually a scale for it, uh, depending on how curved the piece is. From what I can see, this is pretty consistent. So there you have it. My Spyderco Tenacious Rockwell tests at about 60 to 61 HRC. Very interesting for an 8CR13 MOV blade. If only I had another Spyderco Tenacious to compare it to. Wait a second, I do! I don't have another Spyderco Tenacious, but I have a Spyderco Resilience, which is, it's the same knife, it's only bigger. Made the same company, same steel, same country of manufacture. It's the same knife, it's just a little bit bigger. If you wanna see what this one tests at, subscribe, like the video, um, and tune in next time because this knife is going to be tested. Spoiler alert, it's sort of surprising. Thanks for watching.